I forgot the name on this channel. But anyway, we're going to Escott. Yeah, Escott. So anyway, we're going to get into the drop list for week nine of Supreme. And this is Spring Tea Week. So we're going to go through some teas. We're going to go through some items. And, and all that, we're going to figure out what's going to resell, what do I like personally, and we're going to find like a happy medium. So without further ado, let's get into the list. We're going to go to the bottom. Uh, the wool trouser. Look, this isn't the worst thing I've seen. And quite honestly, the pink, the brown, even the blue have potential. But as far as resale, probably not. These probably like 140, 130. Uh, resale, no. Fashion, yes. The Ronin mesh shorts, probably going to be like 110, maybe 128. Um, these are just okay. Like... These aren't going to go on sale because it's sort of like a collab, but these aren't the worst things I've seen resell. I don't think so, but as far as personal, you might want to scoop these up. The Ronin football jersey. Uh, let me take a look at another color. Got Ronin on the back. Not really. It's not my cup of tea. I don't think there's going to be reselling these. Uh, all the colors are cool for like what they are. It's no resale, but fashion wise, maybe. Pinstripe linen shirt. No. This is like some Night at the Roxbury type of vibe. Like, no. Is there. Well, tiny Supreme branding right here. Um, let me just check out. A, let me check out the lighter color. The barely visible. Whatever, and you could probably find that shirt same style for a different company in a in a uh, better price range. So not really, no, no. Leather patch sits panel. So it's it's a dad hat with a leather patch box logo. I'm not mad at it, but also again, I wouldn't pay 48, maybe 28, 24, 20. Because I think these would hit sale. Um, yeah, it, it, these are these are cool. Not something I would pay full price for. If that makes any sense. Um, Jaham flight pan. These are wild. These these are extremely wild looking. Uh, if I had to guess, probably like two hundred dollars, maybe like one seventy range. Um, these are weird. Like, I, I don't even want to, like, I don't want to say, like, resell for these. Fashion-wise, I think these could do something, like, as far as if you could style them correctly. Um, I, I'll say pickle for personal. Like, but resell, I, I don't even know where you would go with these. Like, I, these are a unique piece. Resale-wise, I... I'm scratching my head on these, so uh, yeah, I, I don't see resale, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, the Jinham Camp Cap, um, this is very tricky, like because people are saying like the orange one, it goes with the orange lobsters. You got to get it. Um, we also don't get orange box logos like that, so that's a unique piece. But then again, it's orange, and how often do you wear white and orange? Uh, the white and the black is decent. The white and red goes with a lot of stuff. The white and blue goes with a lot of stuff. Only one is the the olive or lightish brown one. That's the only one I would say, like, I'm not sure about. And even this hat in general is just so... It's out there. Like, this is not like an everyday wear camp cap. It's... This one could be tricky. Like one of these colors is gonna pop off. I don't know if it's the orange because we don't see orange, and it's the orange lobster, or it could be the black, could it be the white and red, could it be the white and blue. One of these colors is gonna just take off, and the other ones maybe might hover around like seventy, maybe eighty. Um, so I, I'm not too convinced on these. Maybe get I might if if I have to, maybe the orange. I'm trying to decide black or the white and red. 
Uh, pro probably the white and the black, but I, I'm I'm guessing the orange is just going to be the premier color, just because of only the orange lobsters coming out, and also they don't have they don't make too many orange box logos, so that's unique in itself. The AOI Buddha pen, it's a pen, it's got Buddha on it. Like if you want it, you want it. I'm no reason. Getting into the tees. The Tamagotchi tee. This is the worst one. Look at how small. Is, it, is this a logo for ants? This is horrible. Like, I would be surprised if you get any sales or anybody buys this for resale. A rental. Look at look at this, man. Like, this is just horrible. This is horrible. This is the worst tee. I don't think any color could say this. Why would you make the logo so small? Repeat stitch and a wrap. Uh, boy. It's a it's a nice sale item. It, it, it is a nice it's a nice sale item. It's not something you want to pay for or resale for. Uh, it's got a lot of branding. It, in fact, it's got too much branding. So, sale item, uh, no resale. Fleece racing jacket. Um, it, it's okay. It, it's a nice design. It's. It, I don't see these going like there are like some fleece jackets on stockings I'm looking at that are way better than this and they're going like under retail so I don't see either one either of these fleece jackets doing anything in the market uh, you probably pick these up over the summer for like close or less than retail so yeah skip these strawberries tea um this is okay I, I'm definitely picking this up um I can even see this one doubling or tripling your money or a little bit over. Uh, possibly just doubling your money, especially the, the right colorway and everything like that. So, yeah, definitely picking this one up. Lee T. Um, don't have other colors yet, but I'm seeing this one could possibly do something. Uh, you know, you got the Supreme logo right here. If they change the color of the ball on different colors of the shirt, uh, you could have something, or they, even if they keep it the same color, like if it's just a little black and they just change the letters right here and they keep the ball the same, yeah, that, that still could do something. So I'm definitely picking this one up. Washed Knockout Denim Varsity. Um, this one probably be like close to 300, maybe 240, like in the 240, 300 range. Um, for personal, this is a clean jacket. Like, you got the nice supreme head on the front. It's, it is huge. It's big. But uh, the denim one, yeah, that, that's a nice looking jacket. Resale, you're going to have to hold it until winter fall. And then it will be starting a new supreme season. I'm, I'm not too sure about this one. For resale, for personal, this is a nice piece. But as far as resale, I'm, I would be, I'll be very, 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 very cautious. Like if you can hold this one until winter, you might make something. But then again, you might be stuck with it or have to sell it for under retail. Uh, so just think about that one before you buy this one. Uh, if this is one ninety eight for some reason, I would, I might pick this one up. Just because it's a nice, it's a nice jacket, but uh, I think it's gonna be close in that in that 240, 300 range. Uh, let's see, moving on, cargo pant. Um, not the worst cargo pants I've seen. Are they gonna be worth it? They're probably like 150 to 188. I don't think so. You can probably find better cargo pants. Is is there any Supreme branding on this? I don't think so. Maybe in the back, yeah, right here. So. Uh, yeah, if you, if you want to spend it, yeah, but no resale whatsoever. Beaded, hooded sweatshirt. Let me take a look. Okay, so you got the you got the you got beads in the box logo. Look, this isn't again. This isn't the worst hooded sweatshirt I've seen. In fact, these are kind of cool. I'm not I'm not going to cap you down. Uh, you know, these aren't for everybody. Uh, 
You got the Supreme hit. You got the different style right here. Um, it's going to be no resale, but these are nice. Like, these are kind of cool. I would pick these up sell sale this, this Another sale item, pick it up for 100 maybe 98 uh, The eyewear tee. This one is going to depend on color. Uh, it's, it got some stuff going for it. Nice, simple picture, Supreme logo right here, Supreme logo right here. Kind of gives off like a 90s, you know, picture vibe. Uh, I think this one, like maybe the black, maybe the white, and it also depends on other color. Um, I'm picking this one up just to see where it goes. I probably won't go too crazy on it, but I'm not, I'm not mad at this one. I think this one was worth a pickup. Over dyed S logo sweatpants. I'm, I'm not even sure. No, no, these aren't going to these aren't going to resell. Um, personal wise, the purple is good, the green is good, the black is just solid, the tan one is solid. The only one that's not really like I I don't see the value in or just wearability is the grayish or the whitish S logo. It's just like I can't really see the S, and it's just. It doesn't look good, but I, I'm not sure about these for pers for resale. Personal, yes. Resale, you might be, I don't know, probably, and that's good, $50, but still, most people don't live in New York, so you, it, it's going to be something, by the time you get in, it might be bricked out, and then we're going into summer sweatpants, fleece sweatpants. You're going to have to hold these till fall. They're going to make more Sweatpants, and they also have other sweatpants on socket that are going for the low. So I, I don't, I don't see it here for resale. The Ronin T. This is the T of the season of the of the week. Um, got the nice supreme hit, a nice graphic. Ronin on the back. Um, I think this probably be like what? It might be like a one of those 44, 48. If this is fifty four dollars. How much was the curtsy? I think the curtsy was 48, wasn't it? Yeah, the curtsy was my fat. Uh, let me see. How, how much was the curtsy? Uh, curtsy was 48. So, there's gonna be, it's probably, I'll say this one will probably be 48 too. It, it's still worth a pickup. Body Snatchers T. This is Weirdo Dave. T's like this with the, with the Boss Logo chest hit. And the graphic on the back, they always seem to do relatively well. The graphic on the back is pretty cool. It's a band called Body Snatchers. I'm I have no idea who they are. Just look, but just looking at the graphic, uh, depend on if they change the color, depend on the teal and skeleton. Uh, I, I think these could age well. This is I'm definitely picking this one up. Probably have to pick up a personal too. Um, I like it. I, I like I like this one. Uh, yeah. I think this is one of the better tees of the week. This Ronin short sleeve top. This is going to be like 100 bucks. Hit on the front's pretty cool. Hit on the back's pretty cool. Uh, will it have resale? Come on. Just, just, you know, come on. Just, just, just stop. Is it a wearable nice piece? Yeah. But I could be surprised on this one, but most even like the best looking short sleeve tops from Supreme don't do anything. Like this isn't gonna push over 200, 250. I would be shocked. Maybe 170, 180, 200. I I don't I don't know. I, I don't see it. I, I, I don't see it. I, I, I don't don't see it. Uh, business T, one of the better tees. Um, got the devil shaking hands with this greedy guy or whatever. Got the Supreme head at the bottom. This graphic. Um, I'm, I know this is a Sean Clive. I'm just going to go out and let say this is a Sean Cliver, uh, graphic or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm picking this one, picking this one up. And, um, the only thing that can mess this one up is if they change the color of the devil or the color of the suit, depending on what it is, the color of the tee. Uh, but I'm still going to, I'm picking this one up. Um, going up. Arabic logo T. Now, 
people are talking about this one, and I'm grabbing one maybe in a black, but I, I just want to go to StockX real quick. I, let me see if they ever if they ever if they have ever did a, a Arabic logo tee. So this is all the Arabic logo tees they ever done. Maybe stocking might have it wrong. So <coughs> the last Arabic tee we got. Sorry about the yawn. Last Arabic tee we got was uh, in a short sleeve top, and that came out in 2001. I forgot how much this was. Uh, let me see here. This one's doing. So this one has a small pocket hit, and this one's going for a hundred black. Um, don't seem to be the same colors. Uh, the long sleeve top black. I think we're probably gonna get these colors: um, the white, the red. So <clears throat> it released in 2017. For forty for forty four bucks, he's going for like two hundred. Uh, I got logged in. Um, let me hold. On, let me log in real quick so I can just see. I do want to see like, are these are the sales on these consistent still to this day? Um, come on, stockheads, load up. So the last sale. Last year, December 150 something. So this is pretty so pretty good. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, the white. How's the white doing? Still so good in December. So good. Okay, so might be a pickup. Okay, okay. So we got an Arabic logo T. I don't know where that came from. That came out in SS12? SS12? What? Hold on. Uh, uh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I didn't want to do that copy Arabic logo T. So they only have these two up, which is kind of weird. Um, no sales on this one. They've been selling on this one. And what was the last sale on this? So last sale on this one, it went from two to the twelve. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's take all this off. Colorway. Colorway is going to be really important on this one. And I don't see these aging well. You probably get, hold it for a year, maybe, I, I don't I don't know. I, I'm, I know I'm picking one up, but I don't even know the market on it. I don't know the market on these. So, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to get one for personal, one to sell quick, and one to just put up in the closet to see where it does. Uh, but colorway is going to be definitely important when you pick these up. Uh, wearable color and maybe colors that flow. This pink and black. I don't think so. I don't think so, Chief. I think you're going to have to sit to either solid white or the black. Solid white or black. Maybe there might be one nice color that's colorful, but not this pink one. Definitely, I'm definitely picking it up. Uh, S logo. Overdyed sweat, a uh, hooded sweatshirt. The green and the purple are the best colors. Um, matter of fact, yeah, this this dirty wash white is just, it's not it. it it's not it on the pants or the or the whatever. The black is just no. The, be, the best colors, like I said, on on the sweatshirt are the purple and the green. The purple and the green. And if I had to. The greens are better. Green, purple. It goes green, pur green, purple, 
tan. Uh, yeah, green, purple, tan, black, and the uh, grayish, whitish color is at the bottom. Uh, we at least have resale. You're going to have to hold them till fall, winter, and the most I've seen this make is probably like 300. At, you're pushing it if you can get 350 out of somebody, but sometimes these brick out because they're going to probably release another S logo hooded, hooded sweatshirt uh, in that in fall, winter. So these are a gamble. Personal, yes, these are decent. I I may, I may, I, I may get the purple or the green uh, depending on it. Uh, but then again, I still don't have a bots logo hooded sweatshirt because you know bots be killing everything. So, um, and then there's um, yeah, I, maybe it, it I don't, depending on how I feel when I wake up that day. Repeat leather belt is going to be like 150, 160. Um, we get it seems like we get these every season, like. Not it. Like, matter of fact, let me let me just hit, I gotta hit stock X up just one more time. Repeat belt. Cause I could have swore we just got one of these. And we did same same colors, except for the lime green. Um large XL going right there. Yeah, just last last uh spring summer sale. Yeah, not yeah, definitely not worth it. Uh, the red. Let me just take a look. These were one forty eight. I guess maybe you sell them for two hundred. The red, maybe you sell it for two hundred, but these came out. These came out around a month. Uh, so let got into uh, let me go down right here. So these were released in May, going for two hundred one seventy eight. Uh, when you get to the fall, get two hundred out of them. Fall back. January going for 300. Um, I, I guess you could gamble on the red, but I what what makes these different from the other ones? Like when you just buy the other, like this one is it's a it's a print logo. These are printed. Like what what's the difference? Like I. And hold, what is it? hold, let me see. 519. So, let me go to the drop list. Spring, summer. Week 13. So, these were 148. Kai Hot Leather with embossed printed D Boss logo on back. And these are. And boss logo, so it's the same belt itself for this one. You got only a different one is the line green. So I guess it's gonna come like a regular repeat item. So I I, I don't I, I would be very caught like nice personal like nice it's a nice personal no resale I, slight resale slight resale but then again why not very confused item skill. Uh, Rocket timer. So I'm, I was confused. I thought this was like an actual bottle rocket, but it's a it's an hourglass timer. It's a sand hourglass timer. It's a sand hourglass timer. If these are 38, will they be resale? 
probably not, maybe double. Is this a cool piece to have? Yes, th this is a cool piece to have. I, just because, how often do you see sand timers? And also, it's a unique piece. Like, so, I'm definitely, if, if these are $38, I'll be putting this into the cart. I expect these to sell out relatively quick. And I expect there to be demand on these. I, I expect these to, like, at least double. Like, this is one of the items I would hold on to. This is one of the items, like, I would get one for personal and I will get one for resale. Just quick double up, pay basically pay for my own and have it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that's the drop list. Uh, what I'd be going for and Rocket Timer, Arabic Logo T, Business T, Body Snatchers, Ronin, Eyewear. This, this, the pay, if this is like decent price, yeah. Maybe the S logo, maybe for personal, because this is kind of cool looking. Uh, the camp cap, I'm going to make a final decision on that when the time comes. And all the rest of it, maybe skip past. And I might throw like an old, an old cap in, but really I might just go for these right here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. So not the worst drop list I've seen this week, but at least this season, but also... It's gonna be. It's, this is a minefield to navigate because some of these tees are gonna pop off tremendous, and some of these tees are going to fall harder than a sack of bricks. Um, Tamagotchi tee is just in. Is already breaking. It's not in release yet, but it's already breaking, and it's not even a good looking tee. So I know some people might dispute me on that one, but just the just the logo and all the space. That's just horrible. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm going to catch you guys later. Also, tell me what you guys think of the best tea. Me, personally, I think the best tea is is the Ronin. The Ronin, Body Snatcher second, uh, Business Tea third, Arabic logo fourth. I know a lot of people might not like that, but I think the Arabic logo is fourth because not a lot of people speak Arabic. People might not know what that is. So, I think that's going to be fourth. And it could also be a brick. Like, that could be a brick sleeper. A brick sleeper. Like, that's going to be a real grenade. Like, that could blow up on you. Like, you could buy that for 40 44 and you might, and it might not even touch over 50 So, I'll be very cautious on that one. Even this one, too, because it's, like, more people know it's Sean Clark. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to get out of here, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.